Are you looking for the best all-natural toothbrush? I got this in the mail and I want to show it to you guys and I want to do a demonstration of how this is going to work for me. First, I want to take you guys to the bathroom though. Let's go to the bathroom and let me show you guys what I've been using to brush my teeth, how I brush my teeth, all that kind of stuff. And then I want to get into why I actually decided to go with these particular toothbrushes right here. So this right here is the bathroom. And as of the past couple of days, I've been using this toothbrush right there. This company actually sent it to me, Oriamo, I think is how you say it. And it actually has really nice, good, tough bristles on there. So if you have like some deep plaque or whatever, it really helps to get it into there. And it also has the buzzer on there as well a few different speeds so that uh i've actually been liking that so that i can really get into the grooves i actually brush my teeth in the shower sometimes too do any of you guys brush your teeth in the shower let me know that down in the comments below i probably started doing this about three months ago if i had to guess and I've reviewed this before. I bought this from Target, I believe. It's called the Quip Toothbrush. Again, it's another one of those electric ones. The bristles aren't as, uh, they're a little more flexible, I guess you could say. They're not as stiff. And uh, this I like because I can bring it into the shower and it's still like battery operated, so it gives that buzz. But I can also like flush out my mouth while I brush, which is something that I like to do. Uh, and then I also have just a regular manual toothbrush, like an old school one that you get from the dentist. And uh, we went on a road trip and I was using that. I think I left it at one of the Airbnbs that we stayed at. So, But I would scrub my teeth uh, in the shower and at the sink and whatnot. So that's been great. Now, as far as toothpaste is concerned, you know, with this product right here, I'm trying to go like more all natural, trying to get something that's better, uh, I think, for the body. Instead of putting a bunch of plastics in your body, you're putting something real in your body. But same thing goes with toothpaste too. And you know, you might get something like this from the dentist, uh, these little tiny tubes. Um, we've used the Arm & Hammer before. Sometimes, honestly, I just brush with baking soda. Have any of you guys ever tried that? I've tried making homemade toothpaste before. I remember I had a science teacher, a chemistry teacher. She always had like the pearliest of white teeth. And I was like, what does she use? And I remember her saying that baking soda was one of the things. Now, my teeth, y'all probably noticed this in the video, is this tooth is a little bit different color from all of my other teeth. One, I do drink coffee occasionally. I got on a coffee kick and then I kind of got off of it, especially while we were traveling and whatnot. But I think that that has kind of stained some of these other teeth back here. But this tooth right here is a fake tooth. That tooth, I was on a trampoline doing uh, wrestling moves with a friend and my knee hit my chin, which made me like close up the teeth really hard and it severed the nerve in the tooth. So I actually have a, had to have a crown done on that because it was starting to turn black and whatnot. So this color at the time, whenever I got it fixed, uh, I had bleached my teeth before then. So they were super white and, and the kind of a, like a bluish color because of the bleach. I don't really use that anymore. The teeth have started to turn due to coffee and whatnot. So this tooth did not turn while all the other teeth did. And so that's become an issue. But uh, this right here is the toothbrush that I'm very interested in. So I listened to, y'all heard me talk about a carnivore diet before, and I listened to a guy named Paul Saladino. He does a podcast, he's on Instagram, if y'all want to check him out. Um, his carnivore MD is his thing, because he is a doctor, but he follows like this carnivore-based diet. And I was uh, watching some of his Instagram uh, posts, and I saw this, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. I never thought about that before, because whenever you shave, if you shave like old school with a brush and whatnot, this right here, if you get a good one, is made, it's not, you can get one that's made out of boar's hair, and that's what this is right here, as opposed to like a synthetic fiber. And so I use this whenever I was shaving. I don't really shave that much anymore because I got the beard going on. Would you guys like the beard? Let me know down in the comments below. I gotta know. I got a lot of questions for you guys today. Whoa, falling. Um, and so this right here is made out of boar, boar's hair, and uh, boar's bristle, if you whatever. And the handle's made out of bamboo. So I figured, hey, this is something good, all natural. You can put in your body. You're not worried about all the plastics and all that type of stuff. Now, I haven't opened this thing yet. So I figured that I would brush my teeth for the first time with you guys 
with a bamboo and boar bristle toothbrush. This is made by a company called G Gia Guy. I think I'm saying that right. I'll link it below if you guys want to check it out. But this, you get six of them in the pack here. That's why it comes in these big tubes. Figured this would be good. One for in the shower, one for at the sink, and then one for everyone else in the house if they want to switch over to this kind of toothbrush. But taking it out, okay. First thing that I'm noticing, you got a nice tapered neck right here. So if you do put your fingers up against it right there to get really deep into the teeth, you can do that. And it also makes it easier for it to insert into the mouth because it's not that thick right there. You got a nice good size head right here on the top, be able to cover all your bristles. These bristles are nice and stiff. It is just kind of a flat bristle, so they're not like jagged like you see with some toothbrushes. Uh, got a nice feel to it as far as uh, how smooth it is and whatnot. Feels very nice. I don't know if it's sanded down or whatnot, but it feels great. A nice flat bottom. Could you see? Dropping it. <laughs> you can stand this thing up if you want to. Look at that. Because it's got the flat bottom on there. Just stand it right up. That's great if you like to let your toothbrush drip dry. But let's get some toothpaste on this. What kind of toothpaste should I use? You know what? Do y'all do this? Can y'all, do you try and squeeze out the last little bit of toothpaste that's in your toothpaste tubes? I always try to do, I mean, look at this thing. I've like bended it and folded it all kind of which ways <laughs> but there's still a little bit on there, so it's not ready to be thrown away yet. So we'll put a little bit on there. I never put like a big old giant thing of toothpaste like you see on commercials. I think that that's ridiculous, it's too much. This is honestly probably even a little bit too much. We can take about half that off right there. Uh, I do like this because it does have the baking soda in it, but uh, like I said, I'm trying to switch over to this right here. I got this little teaspoon just to be able to apply it to the top of the toothbrush. So let me go ahead and wet this and let's, let's brush our teeth together. <laughs> All right. Oh, ants. Okay, real stiff. So if you want a good stiff toothbrush. Yeah. Man, that actually feels really, really nice. If you feel like a lot of grit on your teeth and you're trying to get that grit off. Mm-hmm. Wow. The bamboo feels nice in the hand. I was talking to my dentist and he said that you don't have to hold your toothbrush that hard, like don't push down on your teeth. Just kind of let it glide over your over your teeth. And that's to prevent gum recession, which is an issue that I have right here. So I did want to share that with you guys. Even though these are very stiff bristles, you don't have to press hard. You just kind of want to glide over it. I have a bad habit of kind of pressing down and that's why I got the recessed gums. I like this. It feels nice. I can tell it is scrubbing well. Cause the bristles are a little stiff. I'm kind of curious to know how it's gonna go after like six months of use. Are the bristles gonna deteriorate kind of how plastic ones do? Or are they gonna stay good? You know, your toothbrush should last you from what I've heard about six months. Mm, mm-hmm. All right, let me spit. Let me clean. Let's check out the clean. So I'm just running water over it right there. I shake it off. I got all the stuff off of there. And then I like to take a towel and kind of clean off my bristles like this. And then I don't know if I'm gonna start just, you know, standing up my toothbrush like that. That way it just has a nice, comfortable place to sit. So let me get some water. Yeah. Okay, my teeth. How do they feel? Mmm. They feel nice, actually. So last night I ate some steak. Whenever I was eating that steak, I could feel like the little fibers kind of getting stuck in there and whatnot. And I tried brushing my teeth, but that toothbrush that I had in the shower was getting kind of old. I hadn't replaced the head in a while, but I wouldn't need to do that. But uh, I might replace it with this, actually. And uh, it didn't do that great of a job of getting out all of that stuff. But with this, with the, the rigidness of the bristles that are there, man, I could feel it moving that stuff around. And it, like, I can't feel it in there anymore right now. So I gotta say, this thing is working out for me just from this first time use. But I'm gonna do a follow-up video in about six months, if I had to guess. And uh, I want to give you guys kind of a, 
uh, you know, I'm about to throw away the toothbrush, how did it go type of video. So if you guys want to see that, whenever I get it done, I'm going to put it right there on the screen. Otherwise, it's just going to be whatever YouTube thinks is the best one for you. So go and click that video. I'm going to see you all in that video. Thank you all for watching and dad out.